Elon Musk is taking over the sky and the sea. As you stand on the shore and look out to the water, you will see a huge floating spaceport. It feels weird to say this out loud, but it also is kind of fun. That's where your journey to Mars will begin. SpaceX recently bought two floating oil rigs, dubbed Phobos and Deimos, that will be converted into seafaring launch pads for the SpaceX Starship. The rigs cost $3.5 million each, and SpaceX will spend millions more converting them into spaceports. These spaceports will be equipped with a launch pad, elevator, access arm, fuel tanks, control room, and enough space for a Starship and Super Heavy booster. Here's what one of these floating spaceports will look like. All right. Hop in the boat and let's ride out to the SpaceX floating spaceport. Despite the transformation, you might notice some holdovers from its days as an oil rig. The pontoons that make the spaceport float are the same as they've always been, and the large concrete legs that rise above the water are also unchanged. The cranes and drills are gone, and the main deck has been expanded to add room for a launch pad and four landing pads. You'll notice a landing pad in each corner. This is where the huge tankers unload starships that have traveled all the way from SpaceX production facilities in Boca Chica, Texas. These landing pads are also used by starships traveling around the world. The SpaceX Starship doesn't just take people to Mars. You can travel from a floating spaceport off the coast of New York all the way to a spaceport off the coast of Shanghai in just 30 minutes. A trip from Toronto to Los Angeles takes just 24 minutes. Traveling from Bangkok to Dubai takes just 27 minutes. And a trip from Tokyo to Singapore takes a mere 28 minutes. You'll never fly in a plane again after traveling via Starship. Most flights cost $1,000. It's not too much cheaper than a plane ticket, but you're saving a lot of time. In the center of the main deck, you'll notice the launch pad where the SpaceX Starship will take off. The orbital launch mount, Super Heavy Booster, and Starship itself sit on the launch pad. Right next to the launch pad, you'll see the elevator and access arm, which will take you inside. But let's take a look inside the spaceport before we take off. You can't see it when you're standing on the main deck, but there are fuel tanks hidden inside each leg of the floating spaceport. Each leg contains four tanks, so there are 16 tanks total, which means there is enough fuel on board for multiple launches. Fuel connectors on the side of the spaceport connect to a series of pipes that carry rocket fuel to the tanks. Tankers float up beside the spaceport to unload the fuel needed to propel SpaceX Starship into orbit. This fuel is extremely valuable. Each Starship launch uses $900,000 worth of rocket fuel, and each launch will cost $2 million total. The SpaceX floating spaceport contains at least $18 million worth of fuel at any given time. Let's head beneath the deck to see the brains of the operation. Launching a SpaceX Starship is a tremendous task. The engineers and flight controllers that monitor the launches are some of the smartest people in the world. Well, they better be. And they're paid incredibly well, by the way. A SpaceX flight controller makes about $100,119 per year, in case you were thinking of changing careers. There's a control room hidden beneath the main deck on the east side of the spaceport between the fuel tanks. The room is filled with rows and rows of computers and large screens on the wall give the engineers a direct feed to astronauts in the Starship. Let's head out of the control room and take an access tunnel to the other side of the spaceport. This is the storage room. It's located on the west side of the structure between the fuel tanks. If you look around, you'll see space orbital launch mounts, diagnostic equipment, and welding equipment that's used to repair the SpaceX Starships. Those large doors on the east side of the storage room are used to move orbital launch mounts to the launch pad on the main deck. The mounts slide on tracks and are lifted up to the center of the platform. Let's follow it up to the main deck. Are you ready to blast off? Let's take a close look at the launch pad. Sliding doors directly beneath the launch pad are used to raise up spare orbital launch mounts. On top of the orbital launch mount sits the $40 million super heavy rocket booster that's used to send the Starship to Mars. Each super heavy rocket booster has six landing legs and 37 Raptor engines. The Starship itself sits right above the super heavy booster. The total cost of the Starship and Super Heavy Booster is a staggering $216 million. That's it? It's nearly time for departure. Let's head up the elevator and get into the Starship. You might be a bit nervous as you take the elevator up to the top, but don't be. Traveling to Mars via SpaceX Starship is incredibly safe. As you walk across the access arm, look out over the ocean and say goodbye to Earth. Bye. See ya. Hey, do you want to see inside a SpaceX Starship? 
If so, check out our SpaceX Starship Blueprint video. Did you know the SpaceX Starship cost between $5.6 billion and $8 billion to fully develop? Musk hopes to get costs down to $5 million per Starship eventually. He wants to build one or two Starships every week and more than 1,000 total. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching.